Hello and welcome back. In today's video we are looking at the unequal lateral oblique T. Our pipe sizes are going to be 89mm and also a lateral T coming out the side of 60mm. So let's get this done. First of all we need to draw in a centre line. Let's get that done. to construct the pipe do an 89 mil Now we need to open up our dividers and just put a semicircle on the inside. So that's our uh, header pipe representation. And at the top of that, we need to do our lateral T. So we just open our dividers up to 60, so 30 mil to give us our 60. And we just place that in there. Our dividers up a little bit more. Through the centre of here and the centre of here, that gives us 90. That's 90 degrees. Right is back up to thirty. Put a scratch in there, a scratch in there. Through this point, through the centre of here and the centre of here, that gives us an angle of forty five degrees. Forty-five degrees. We're looking for forty-five degree oblique, so absolutely fantastic. And go in here, put in a baseline. Draw in semicircle. up in the usual manner. Now we need to send all these down to meet our pipe. So let's get that done.
So that's one view. Now we need to draw our second view. So we just extend this line here. Put in a hack just here. Divide that up in the usual manner. Now we need to send these points down to meet our pipe. So that if we was looking down on the pipe, that's what we would say. Now these points here, we need to send across this way. Let's get that done. You will notice that while you're doing this, that it is very similar, in fact, almost identical apart from the angle of the unequal T at 90 degrees. So once we've done that, all we need to do now, we've got a grid, is we just plot the points where they connect on the line. So there's one there, 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 in the centre, and back up again, and there. And we just join all those together. notice that we have a curved line of intersection just there. Now to do a full pattern you need 13 lines of construction and to do a half pattern you would need seven lines of construction. We're going to do a full pattern today so we're going to use 13 lines of construction stuff. So take one of these measurements here and just check that. Absolutely perfect. So we need 13 lines of construction along there. Let's get started. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and 13. All we need to do now is send those all up vertically. So let's get that done. All that's left to do is number them, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. So all we need to do now is just draw it out. The one positions there at zero, so we don't need to worry about them too much at the moment. So we'll just start on number two. 
I'll just open our dividers up to that. Place that in there. And in there. Number three. Up in there. Number four. Six. And finally seven. that's left to do now is just join all those up. We're going to do that freehand today. And then finally, I'll just draw this down. I'll do that 45 mil on the same that side across the bobbin. So all that's left to do now is just add on a bit of lap on. On the sides in this case we're just going to put a centimetre on so we just come down a centimetre and out a centimetre. Of course this could be as big as you wanted, we're just using that just for demonstration purposes. So now all that's left to do is just cut that out, put an edge on it if you need to or not. And you could feather it, put it on the inside, or put an edge on it and have it on the outside. So all that's left to do now is just cut that out, like I say. Right, now we're going to do the um, hole. Once I find the hole, we set our dividers back up to 30. This is our 60. And we just pop that in there. I just need to extend that line a little bit, I didn't quite get it long enough. There we go. Divide that up in the usual manner. Now what we need to do is send all these points this way, so let's get that done. doing here is we're forming the grid, the hole to 
be developed in. So to form the grid from each one of these points here we just draw the line straight down like this and that will form our grid for the hole. Now when we're forming a hole, all we need to remember is, is position 4, let's move to there, so we just turn that round, so position 4 is now here, so when we start plotting out, that's the centre, and you just dot the lines, we go up, and come down again. So we've gone all the way round. There we have it. And we just join those up like that. shape and contour absolutely spot on so to get our full circumference of our 89 mil pipe you take the diameter 89 mil times that by 3.141592 which is pi and that will give you the full circumference and all you need to do then is just pop the hole in either, either side or in the centre wherever you're going to form it and there you go absolutely spotty dog please remember to like subscribe and share thank you very much for watching and I hope this has been very useful for you thank you very much until next time thank you and goodbye Bye.